Hey everybody, Professor Davis here again from Chem Survival Enterprises and the YouTube channel Chem Survival. Today I'm going to show you how we orient molecules for a Fisher projection. And I'm going to do it using kind of a silly model. It looks like this. Now this model is missing some atoms and it doesn't matter because what I want you to focus on here are the central atoms. That's really what Fisher projections are all about. So these central atoms have got two available positions that I've shown here all in white. All right, so it's pretty uninteresting the way that I've done it. But try to imagine that these white atoms are all different substituents. Okay, now there's a lot of stereochemistry there, a very rich stereochemistry that I want to try to show. Now to show it using a Fisher projection, here's what I do. First, I turn my bonds here so that all of my carbon-carbon bonds are turning in the same direction. In other words, I do this. Once I have them in that orientation, I'm going to turn my molecule so that I'm sighting along carbon-carbon bonds in the vertical axis. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the ends of this molecule and I'm going to just pull on them like this. Now this is the orientation of a Fisher projection. You notice that in a Fisher projection, all the atoms that are coming toward you are horizontal. All the atoms that are falling away from you are vertical. So a chemist can take a Fisher projection, which looks like this, and realize I've got to fold that down, and I've got to turn those carbon-carbon bonds to make it look more realistic, and I can get a real idea of what the molecule looks like. So that's how Fisher projections work. Now, try to build yourself something a little more sophisticated and oriented in a Fisher projection. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.